Stainless steel tank trailers carry all kinds of products, from milk, sugar, and animal feed, to fertilizer, shampoo, or even wine. Some tank trailers only haul chemicals like methanol. Made of stainless steel inside and out, they keep all the products they're transporting contaminant-free. Stainless steel tank trailers carry as much as 12,000 gallons of product. They start with a laser cutting machine, which cuts pieces like this manhole opening from the stainless steel sheet used to make the tank. The laser that cuts the steel is as precise as the pen you use to sign your name. Next, they make the larger pieces of the tank by putting two sheets of stainless steel into a machine called a plasma seam welder. Using stainless steel wire as a filler metal, the computer-controlled machine welds the two sheets of steel together. A worker then uses a belt sander that rides on a track to smooth out the weld evenly and in a straight line. The sheet then goes through a rolling machine that shapes it into a cylinder. It takes two to four cylinders to make a tank, depending on the size. Meanwhile, a ring rolling machine makes what's called channel rings that will strengthen the cylinders and help them keep their round shape. The rings are also made of corrosion-resistant stainless steel. Some tanks need up to 12 of these reinforcement rings. A worker then welds the channel rings onto the tank, stopping periodically to inspect the weld. Next, they weld tank heads to the cylinder. Welding parts on the outside of the tank causes heat discoloration to the steel on the inside. That's why a worker then polishes the stainless steel, giving the full interior of the tank a noticeably clean and bright finish. Then they attach polyurethane spacer bands to the tank. These create the sections they need to mount fiberglass insulation around the tank, which keeps the product either warm or cold. Workers then install thin sections of stainless steel around the tank to protect the insulation. This steel is shiny for cosmetic reasons only. They hold the sections in place temporarily using leather belts. They secure this entire outer wrapper so it fits properly. Then they weld each section of steel to the frame of the tank. Next, they prepare the outer wrapper heads using what's called a lock seam flanger. That makes a lip in the edge of the heads. They attach the front and rear heads to the outer wrapper by fitting the lip into the outer wrapper's grooved edge and crimping them together using a hammer. Next, they install the aluminum fenders over the rear tires. After that, they attach a stainless steel tube ladder that gives access to the manhole at the top of the tank, where they load the product. They put the mud guards on next, followed by the reflective conspicuity tape that goes on both sides of the tank and on the two rear bumpers. They install the stoplights and taillights into a light box at the rear of the trailer. After that, they install the turn indicators on the sides of the trailer and test them to ensure they function properly. Finally, they check all the connections used to operate the tank trailer, so when it leaves the plant, it works perfectly, and the customer can transport their product safely.